on the winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold.
but I can't for the life of me figure out why that happened. If this isn't the stubbornest piece of- <sighs> Papa! I'm sick of this hunk of junk. Don't always say that. I need it this time. I'm never gonna get this bonehead contraption to work. Yes, you will, and you'll win first prize at the fair tomorrow. Hmm. Become a world-famous inventor. You really think so? You know I do. I always have. Well, then we'd better get cracking. This thing's not gonna fix itself. Now let me see. Where did I put that dog-legged cluncher? Papa. So tell me, Belle, did you have a good time in town today? I got a new book. You do love those books. Well, they take me away to wonderful places where there's magic, and adventure, and mystery, and romance, and happy endings. Papa. If I asked you something, would you answer me honestly? Not always. Do you think I'm odd? My daughter, odd. You know, where did you get an idea like that? I don't know. It's just that people talk. They talk about me too.
your track.
thing like that's going to change your feelings for me. Oh my God. No, never. Then we'll still have our little no. red base boozes. Won't we? Oh, yes. yes always. Good. Well, if we're going to have a wedding, I guess I better propose to the bride. Ha ha ha. Little old guy. Today's the day all your dreams come true. Could you possibly know about my dreams, Gaston? Plenty.
Who? Just about. I have a great idea what the girl likes from just about everything in the kitchen. Good. Good. <gasps> well, don't say it Get back to work. You do it. I can't. Tell me what. Oh, <laughs> now, do not be alarmed, but it uh, appears that you have something uh, on your back. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> It uh, appears to be a, 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 a winding handle of sorts. Well, get off me! Oh, it won't come off. What do you mean it won't come off? Why is this happening? Now, I just try to relax. Relax? Relax? How can I relax? It's the bed in my back. What's going to go next? My mind? Just try, try to stay cool. I'm right, Lumiere. I know, but you are not alone. We're all in this together. Time for dinner, where is she? I'll see about her, won't be over there. I told her to come down, it's taking so long. Master, you must be patient. The girl has lost her freedom and her father all in one day. Hey, Master, have you considered that this girl could be the one who breaks this spell? Of course I have. I'm not a fool. Perfect. Then you will fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, and poof! Well, you and I get by midnight. Mir, it doesn't work like that. Things take time. But we don't have time. The rose is on and they come to wilt. It's no use. She's so beautiful and I'm. Well, look at me. He has a point. <laughs> Master, you must help her see past all that. I don't know how. Well, you can start by making yourself a bit more presentable. Straighten up and act a bit more like a gentleman. Impress her with your rapier wit. But be gentle. And shower her a compliment. But be sincere. And but above all, what? You must control, control your temper. temper. Well? What? Where is she? Who? Oh, yes, the girl. Uh, she's in the middle of circumstances being the way they are. What did you say? She's not coming. We'll see about that! It's your lordship, your grace, your evidence, let's not be hasty! Stand aside, you need a move. I thought I told you to come down to dinner. I'm not hungry. I am the master of this castle, and I'm telling you to come to dinner. And I'm telling you, I'm not hungry. I'm hungry when I say you're hungry. Don't be ridiculous. What did you say? Keep around ordering people to be hungry. It doesn't work like that. I can... Besides, if... Oh, rude is it? Then how about this? If you don't come down to dinner, I will drag you out by the hair! <laughs> <laughs> Master, that might not be the uh, best way to win the girl's affection. Please, attempt to be a gentleman. <laughs> Why is she being so difficult? Why are you being so difficult? Why are you being such a bully? Because I want you to come down to dinner! So. You admit you're being a bully. Oh, deep breaths, master, deep breaths. <laughs> Give her one last chance. Would you be so kind as to join me for dinner? Ah, uh, huh, huh? Please. <coughs> no, thank you. Fine, let's stop! Master! If she doesn't eat with me, she doesn't eat her off! Uh. What was I thinking? We'll never be human again. It appears so. Well, what would you two have us do? Give up? I can't give up until I hear the sound of my boy's laughter as he runs through these halls again. Quite right, Mr. Potts. We mustn't give up while there's still a chance. Lumiere, stay and watch at the door. And if there's the slightest change, inform me at once. I, Mum Capitone. <laughs> As nicely, she refuses. What does she want me to do? Beg? Show me.
wonderful. Good show, everyone. Good show. Well done. Well done. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at the time? Off to bed. Oh, I couldn't possibly go to bed now. It's my first time in an enchanted castle. Enchanted? Who said anything about the castle being enchanted? I figured it out myself. I'd like to look around if that's all right. But I'm sure I like it. Ooh. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. You know, poking around you know, you know where. Perhaps you'd like to take me. I'm sure you know everything there is to know about the castle. Uh, uh, uh. Well, actually, I do. May I draw your attention to our hand painted ceilings, complete with sheriff quality and delight. Uh, uh, uh. And, and sometimes. Act like a gentleman. Act like a gentleman. This will be good. Oh, Belle? Belle? And now you will note our <coughs> usual inverted archways. You'll see it's another late new plastic, another example of a late new plastic. Mm. And as I like to say, if it's not Baroque, don't fix it. <laughs> <laughs> It's all so beautiful. If only he were here. Act like a gentleman. And nothing but a fool. And thanks to some quick thinking on my part, the disaster was averted. And the sort of that weight never poured in this area again. What's up there? Nothing! Nothing. Nothing in the interest of the West Wing. Ah, uh, so that's the West Wing. Now you've done it! And everybody's hiding up there. Everyone, Then it wouldn't be forbidden, would it? Perhaps, Mademoiselle, would like to take a look at something different. We have this exquisite tapestry dating all the way back to Alamicious, the pretentious. Maybe later. Hey, perhaps you like a tour of the garden? Or the library? You have a library? With books! Yes! Not the books!
Let me see that. Hold still. Ah! That hurts! If held still, it wouldn't hurt as much. If you wouldn't have run away, this wouldn't have happened. If you wouldn't have frightened me, I wouldn't have ran away. <coughs> but you should have been in the West Wing! You should learn to control your temper. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, this may stink. By the way, thank you for saving my life. You up? Well, that's more like it. And you think you get along if they try? Oh. Ah, so the ice is finally broken. And that a moment too soon. Have you taken a good look at the road lately? It's really pedals at an alarming rate. Not to mention the fact that I can hardly bend over anymore. Obviously, it is time for us to give them a little push. Let's find a nice, uh, romantic way to bring them closer together. I have just the thing. How about we warm you two up a bit with a nice bowl of soup? Soup? Trust me. <laughs>
Thank you for meeting me on such late notice, Mr. Dark. Now it looks that lady is not on this night. Must have been said, you were by a while. See, I have my lord, said a merry bell, but she needs a little persuasion. There's a danger now before and deny my honeymoon. For the pretty thing I've courted refuses to soon. So the time has come for a murky plan for which I turn to a murky man. This girl for granted There's no path I haven't heard For her heart no seed unplanted No flower unsold But quite amazing jubilant She doesn't want me for her mate Which forces him to contemplate The Mason Day It's Belle's father who's your client. She adores that old buffoon. She'll be forced to be compliant.
You will fit it here. And you will speak from Sahara. You speak from. I can't! You, you must! Asta. What are you afraid of? Nothing! Master. I'm afraid she might. She might what? Laugh at me. Well, that is a chance that you must be willing to take. I really don't think I can do this. Here, perhaps this will help bolster your skin. Ah! There we go, Master. I know that you can do it. <laughs>
at you. But why? After all this time, he's finally learned to love. Well, well, this spirit it must be broken. It's not enough. She has to love him in return. And now it's too late.
Don't worry. We'll take good care of him. My father's not crazy. He was a raving like a lunatic. We all heard him. Didn't we? Yeah! Alright, come quietly now. No, I won't let you do this. Tell us again, old man. Just how big was that beast? Well, he was huge. He was at least eight. No, more like ten feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get much crazier than that. <laughs> it's true, I tell you. What are you doing? <coughs> let me go. Tell me, Maurice. Why did you start having these delusions? It's not a delusion. The beast is real, and so is the talking clock. <laughs> oh, poor Belle. It's a shame about your father. Gaston, you know my father's not crazy. I can clear up this little misunderstanding. If... If what? If you marry me... What? One little word, Belle. That's all it takes. Never! Fine! Have it your way, then! Take your man! <laughs> Wait! I have something to prove my father's not crazy. Show me the beast. Oh, I was killing